Good evening, friends, followers, channel members. How are you all doing? Hope you're doing well this Thursday evening. Oh, right. Sorry, I've just had a mad panic at the end. So tonight, as the uh, as the stream suggests, we are going to be um, showcasing our flight tonight with the air traffic control being provided by Beyond ATC. A massive thanks to the developers for allowing me to uh, to do this and. Um, I've literally just started the program up, and there was, th there was an update. <laughs> there wasn't one an hour ago. I swear, they've literally just been pushing this. Now, remember, of course, this is a beta version. Um, so there are still bugs to be expected. Some things might not work how you want them to do yet, but as uh, they literally are pushing updates quite often, as is a testament to the fact that I was checking this an hour ago, and it was fine. And uh, I've just had to update it and reinstall it whilst the opening credit screens were playing. So so uh, fingers crossed, uh, it will uh, it will all be fine. Uh, so what we're going to do on um, on today's flight, we're flying from Milan to um, to Liverpool, and I wanted to do um, a sort of route that would try and get through and across a few different countries so that we get to hear different ATC voices, a few different flight information regions, that kind of stuff. Um, so hopefully that's going to come through uh, for uh, for you today. I'm not going to concentrate too much on sort of a real ops uh, flight. We'll obviously do the, <laughs> do the basics, but this is uh, all about Beyond ATC uh, tonight. So welcome everybody that I can see coming on board. Huge shout out as always to our amazing legends, the channel members, the legend Dark Fury, Fruit Bat Wasp, hey Organ, Bacchus is in the house as well, hey Simon, good to see you, good evening Jayhog. Um, so yes, the aircraft itself um, is all set up, um, in fact if we, we go in we'll see this, uh, I've, I've got this all set up, the, the, the box is programmed and we're uh, I've even counted all the V-speeds are done. Uh, all that's left is for GSX to actually crack on with loading our aircraft. Um, as long as that works, we shall be uh, we shall be fine. Um, but yeah, tonight I just want to concentrate a little bit on taking you through the Beyond ATC interface and things like that. Now, I've already seen someone say, what voices are we going to use today? Are we going to use the premium voices? Are we going to use standard voices? Well, that's the great thing. We're going to use both. We're going to show everything off. That's why I wanted to pick a flight that was around two hours so we could really delve into what is, uh, what is available. A um, couple of caveats that I know to begin with. So the taxiway instructions at the moment this is quite heavily dependent up on the um, scenery developers and how they've uh, gone about doing their scenery. Now, I'm flying to Liverpool Airport, which is default Azobo, and they don't actually have uh, proper taxiway uh, instructions in their scenery, so Beyond ATC may not like that. Um, I've got an add-on here for Milan Malpensa, but it's not sort of a payware one, so I'm not quite sure what those taxiway instructions are going to be like either, but we'll put it to the test and um, and we shall uh, we shall see what happens. Final Cody, thanks so much for the sub. Um, the aircraft that you can see around us are not from uh, Beyond ATC. Um, this is just FSLTL static uh, traffic. Um, I haven't got any live traffic in the air because at the moment FSLTL cannot control them. So we would have all sorts of stupid things going on if we tried to uh, try to do them both. Um, we are not going to use Vatsim tonight. Uh, check. No, not Vatsim at all. This is exclusively um, Beyond. Um, beyond ATC. Uh, so yeah, we we'll get started. As I say, I'm just waiting for um, a refueling and um, GSX to hopefully do its thing. Um, yeah, here they come. Uh, so we'll um, we'll sp skip over the operational flight plan. I've I've already done that. We're going to take seven tons of fuel and we're going to fly to Liverpool. <laughs> All should be good. Box is sorted. I will go through the taxi and just like a pre quick pre-flight leave. But let's bring up um, Beyond ATC and um, and have a look at it. Uh, cool dash deck. Thank you for the sub as well. Um, all right. So this then is obviously Beyond ATC. Uh, I've just noticed the overhead's not working. Hang on one moment and get that sorted for you. Uh, so it will use Simbrief, you will need to use a Simbrief profile, that is where it's going to get all your information from. Um, so if we, uh, 
if we hit, uh, if we go to the options, first of all. Um, so, these are the basic options. Uh, have I got the push to talk key binding in? I am just going to have to reset that up. I just, uh, as I say, I have to quickly reinstall Beyond ATC with its uh, with the latest update. Um, so, let me just uh, quickly trigger that. So, hopefully that should now uh, work. I've just set it to a button on my... Uh, on my side stick. Um, usual stuff, performance mode, um, that is, uh, yeah, obviously, as the name suggests, for better performance. Uh, streamer mode, that's just hiding my SimReef ID. I don't think that's a great secret, but anyway. Radio degradation simulation, of course, over large distances, etc. Uh, voice volume, obviously. User interface sounds, we'll talk about that once we're in cruise. Uh, got these sorted. Uh, of course, I have got my EasyJet Sim Pilot um, <laughs> Beyond ATC voice sample, uh, which I can use for um, for my uh, my my virtual first officer, um, if you like. Uh, right, you like a donut. <laughs> um, and then, obviously, we have got the premium voices, we've got the basic voices, or we've got it turned off. I'm going to use premium voices to start off with, but of course we will check out the uh, the other voices as well as we're going. Traffic voice model, of course, well, we've not got any traffic in at the moment, so that's uh, that's not going to affect, uh, affect anything. Okay, so let me turn that off. Um, Alright, so the SimBrief... Uh, Operational flight plan has been uh, loaded, so we'll hit fly, and it's just going to hopefully now hopefully connect to the sim. Beyond ATC connected. And load everything, so we'll just let it do its thing. Uh, good morning to those of you as well watching on uh, on Twitch. Good morning. Trapper, it's morning for you, it's not for me. <laughs> hey, Kumas, an Italian Yankee fan. Good, uh, good evening. Okay, so it's got my call sign up. Easy 34 Alpha Mike. Um, yeah, that's call sign on the operational flight plan. We've got auto tune radio turned on, auto respond turned on. I'm going to turn those off for now. So I'm basically going to do um, do everything. Uh, so let's um, let's kill the music. And uh, the first thing, as always, is we're going to grab the uh, the ATIS information. Uh, so clicking on the headphones brings up a list of frequencies. Um, of course, we don't actually need to do that. If we're going to be sort of uh, realistic about this, what we should be able to do, um, if these are uh, if these are right, uh, is my iPad working? Oh yeah, there it is. Um, so we've got ATIS information. That's for an arrival. Have we got departure uh, ATIS information anywhere on here? Just looking for it on a chart. Uh, 80 departures, 121625. So let's see if that works, shall we? 121625. Now, when you tune to it, it will take a second to sort of work out the ATIS information. Uh, yeah, it's picked it up. Look, Malpensa Automated Terminal Information Service. So it's just got to generate it. We'll have a listen. left, departing runway 35 right. Transition level 060. Bird activity in vicinity of airport. Advise on initial contact. You have information x-ray. Okay, so we only heard half of that, which is quite realistic. Let's listen to the full airport information x-ray. 1850 Zulu. Wind variable temperature 17. Dew point 09er. QNH 1028. Landing runway 35 left. Departing runway 35 right. Transition level 060. Bird activity in vicinity of airport. Advise on initial contact. You have information X-ray. Okay, let's get rid of that. Malpensa. Okay, so this is going to be quite interesting. So the flight plan from Simbrief, uh, I've got in as departing 35 left. It's just told us they're using 35 right. Um, so we shall now obviously need to go contact air traffic control, get our clearance because I've got in here. I've got 35 left in the box. So we'll see. Uh, 
we'll see what happens. Uh, bird activity at night. Uh, who who knows? There might be crazy birds in um, in Italy. Uh, real deal. They were premium voices. That's uh, that's right. Um, so let's uh, just set this up. Of course. So one zero two eight. That's fine. Um, Com2 is utilized as well in Beyond ATC, so it does recognize that. Uh, fuels loaded, constraints 1028. And I'm just checking what's our initial clearance for this uh, departure. I think it's going to be flight level 110, so just set that aside. I'm not too fussed about um, the correct flying of the aircraft today. Uh, just want to concentrate on getting beyond ATC correct. All right, so let me grab the frequency for um, ground, which is one to one decimal nine. So we'll tune to uh, tune to that in a sec. Now, obviously, I can get my virtual uh, co-pilot to communicate with beyond ATC, or I can um, talk myself. Uh, for now, though, let's. Um, Let's do it uh, myself. So we're on 1219, and we're going to uh, request our IFR clearance. I have no idea what information it was, by the way, on the 80s. I <laughs> didn't write it down. Uh, so let's uh, let me give them a call and see what happens. Malpensa ground, easy, 3-4, Alpha Mike, type A320, requesting IFR clearance to Liverpool. See if they respond. Easy three four Alpha Mike request IFR clearance to Liverpool John Lennon Airport. Oh, why is it using that? It shouldn't be using that. Easy, 3-4, Alpha Mike, Malpensa ground, expect runway 3-5 right, dog 6 tango departure, squawk 1440. Expect the Dog 6 Tango departure, runway 35 right, squawk 1440, easy 34 alpha mic. Easy 34 alpha mic, read back correct. Call me back when ready for pushback or engine start. Okay, so they have changed that runway to 35 right. The Dog 6 Tango departure squawk 1440. And if you are a bit rubbish like me and forgot to write anything down, well, I've just brought this out of view, but let's bring it back in. It is giving you all of the information. So this is a great training platform. If you eventually want to move on to something like VASIM, then you can just, uh, y yeah, you'll Easy, be able to see Easy, 3, 4, this. Alpha, oh. Mike, read back, correct. Call me back when ready for pushback or engine start. Roger Wilco, EZ34 Alpha Mike. Uh, okay, yeah, let's. Um, I better set the box back up correctly now, haven't I? Oh dear. Uh, so, what we're we doing? Departing 35 right. Uh, Dog 6 Tango departure. Um, oh god, I'm going to need the chart. Where's, where's that? Chat amongst yourselves. Dog six time to go departure here it is. Um, three five right, so that's going to dog up. So after that, what transition do I need? Uh, ten three X ray one. This is more complicated than that, Sim. And then I think here's the Worcester transition I want. Yep, that's the one I want. Uh, so it's going to be the Oster 5 whiskey. Okay, and insert. New departure is in there. Check deck half data. Yep, because I've obviously changed the departure runway. Oh, it was worth doing all this before uh, the stream started then, wasn't it? <laughs> no. Uh, let's go 3, 5, right. Do full length, and let's just send that to the McDo. And then I should be done. Five two five two five four. Confirm. 
Lovely. All right, so I'm just waiting for passengers to uh, to get on board then. Cancel the mass caution side stick fault. There we are. Uh, right, well, whilst I'm waiting for the passengers, we'll just uh, quickly look at what we're going to be doing. So, with the new runway, we're going to be taxiing off stand 112. Let's see what instructions it gives us. Remember that it all depends upon how the scenery uh, developer has uh, built the airport. So you'll find payware sceneries do work better than uh, default sceneries. Um, so we're stand 112, we're probably going to push back facing to the east. And then I expect us to get either Mike, then Charlie or Alpha. Well, no, not Alpha. Um, Charlie and then go full length to hold at Charlie Alpha 35 right uh, after departure it is that's the wrong chart don't read that one um, we want this one yeah so after take off heading 356 uh, max speed of 220 knots and initial climb 6,000 at Duggan. Okay, so I'll just reset that. And let me just have a look at the speeds in there. Uh, we'll pre-select 217 for the speed. So clean up as we go and green dot speed. There we go. Uh, Jamie, can we ask for a radio check? Um, Malpensa Ground, EZ34 Alpha Mike, radio check, please. EZ34 Alpha Mike, reading you loud and clear. <laughs> there you go. Um, DJ, why didn't we get the initial climb and transition? You don't always get the initial climb um, because they're on the charts. And as for the transition, yeah, so the transitions are going to be a little bit more difficult to try and uh, try and work out. Not all airports in Europe have them, obviously. Italy does. Um, a lot of America uh, does as well. But remember, this is beta, so you're not going to get... Um, you're not going to get it uh, perfect just uh, just yet. So yeah, we're now just sat waiting for all the passengers to board. Are we? Uh, are we nearly done yet? Can't be a million miles away. That's about as far as I'm going with my briefing today, by the way. So let's get the AP on, and then we'll uh, we'll be ready to go. Then, won't we? So s fuel's loaded. Those pumps on. We have that APU to start. I have got the uh, hey Elliot, good to see. You. I have got the voice of this turned up quite um, <coughs> quite loud. So if it is too loud, let me know. I can I can turn it down. Right, I believe we are now fully loaded. Wonderful. Um, I've not even looked at my load sheets for this, but it'll be fine, I'm sure. Um, I do need the final load sheet just so I've got the trim value, and then it'll be fine. I've just turned that voice volume down for you. Let me know if I've turned it down a, a bit too much. Ross, thank you for the Prime sub. Really do appreciate that. Hey, Beyond ATC is in the chat. Uh, Beyond ATC, they um, they weren't talking about the transition level. Obviously, that given in the 80s, but they were uh, talking about the transition. So um, Milan has the initial standard instrument departure and then the transition. A bit like what you get a lot in uh, in the USA. Don't get it too much here in uh, in Europe, except in Italy. Italy is weird. Uh, APU's up and running, so I'll get rid of that. Get the bleed on. And uh, let me now just get rid of the ground uh, ground services. So GPU can go, chocks and cones can go. Have we got our final load sheet? There we are. That's what I wanted. 
So that's going to be C of G is 28.5. Lovely. All right. Well, even though we're not doing real ops, we will do the. Um, we will still run a checklist. Ah, uh, so otherwise I'll forget something. Aircraft acceptance that's been completed. Fuel quantity seven tons checked. Balanced. Uh, Seabell signs are on. It is. I've already checked. Three and in the Q and H one zero two eight and seven hundred and forty feet. Good stuff. Okay. Let me um, let me call the ground crew. Uh, OE design. Can you turn off the sound when you send a voice message? Yes, you can. Now, getting that um, sound feedback is great. If you're not, um, if you've not got this open, like I've got this open on a second screen, so I could perhaps turn it off because I can see if it's working or not. But if you're flying in VR or something like that, then you want that sound feedback to know that it has recognized what it is that, um, that you're saying, basically. Um, but yes, you, uh, you can turn it off if, uh, if you wish. Right, let's get rid of the pushback. Fruitbear, thanks so much for the Prime sub. Remembering on Twitch. <laughs> My pencil ground is E34 Alpha Mike. Request push and start. Easy, 3-4 Alpha Mike. My pencil ground, push back and engine start approved. Face southeast. Spot on. So, push back and start. Approve. Face southeast. Easy. Three, four, alpha mic. Okay, I think that's where we briefed that we were going to push back, wasn't it? Facing Act southeast. check completed. Bypass pin inserted. Yeah. So, push it back from stand one one two and facing southeast on Bravo. Hey, Glenn. Good to see you. Thank you for the sub, um, uh, <laughs> MWCV. Uh, Ashif, is Beyond ATC planning to have random ambient pilot and ATC chatter? Um, no, because they are going to have traffic Coming injection. Here. So it won't be random chatter, it will actually be um, other uh, AI traffic that it's controlling that you, that you are listening to. All right, so let's get our beacon light on. Uh, oh, I've not set the squawk. And it will shout at me if I forget to set the squawk. Trust me. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Uh, good. All right. So, before start checklist, parking brake is on. Takeoff data is confirmed. Windows are closed. EFB is on flight mode. Doors are closed. Not yet armed. Beacon light is on. So push back facing it'll yeah, it'll be south. Release parking brakes. And parking brakes released. Hey Katie Pilot, how you doing? Push. Hope you're doing well. All engines clear. Started with Uh Dark Fury, will ATC get annoyed if I make a wrong turn? I don't know, mate, I don't make wrong turns. <laughs> I haven't actually tested that to be fair. <laughs> I have to go to a random airport. I have to go to somewhere like JFK. <laughs> Captain Long always beyond ATC available? No, not yet. This is a, um, a beta build that the team have allowed me to uh, live stream for you guys and, and showcase for you. Right, let's get the engine started. Overhead check. Paranoia check. Uh, all right, uh, ignition and start engine one. Uh, virtual pilot, good evening from a rainy Helsinki. The flight display's a bit bright, isn't it? I should turn that down. In fact, the whole flight deck's a bit bright. It's a bit better. Hi, Andy. Thank you for subscribing. So once we have got... Um, once we've got pushed back, got the engine started, do the usual stuff, and then we will request our taxi. Now, remember, 
the tax instructions that it will give us is all dependent upon how good the scenery actually is. Um, so it's not great at um, default airports at the moment. So it might be interesting when we get to Liverpool. This technically isn't a default airport, but it's not a high quality payware airport. It's a, a just a little freeware mod for uh, Malpensa at the moment. Uh, we're still waiting for the uh, a good quality Malpensa airport, aren't we, to, uh, to come out. I can't remember if it was Aerosoft that was meant to be meant to be building that. Uh, in fact, someone just asked me about the Malpensa scenery. Um, so the Malpensa scenery I'm using at the moment is it's freeware from flightsim.to. Um, I can't remember who makes it, sadly, I'm afraid, but it will be. Uh, set parking brakes. It will be on there. And um, parking brakes set. Uh, that Dreadbeat Pilot, I've not had any experience with FSFO, so I'm afraid I can't answer that. Someone else in the chat might be able to. All right, engine one is uh, stable. Start, uh, start engine two. To be fair, I could probably single engine tax at this. Unlocking gear. But we're not saving fuel tonight. Uh, Bluger, is it good at understanding someone talking fast like on Vatsim, or do you need to speak quite slowly for it to work? Well, I, bu I suppose, Jamie, I could Go test it, couldn't I? Bypass pin removed. Left is clear, right is clear. Uh, Sakate, am I going to fly a little bit of it with default voice? Yes, I will, because these are premium voices, so these will cost you those character points. Um, but I will switch it over, because you can switch it on the fly, um, Sakate, so yeah, we'll, we'll definitely do that. Um, do I use FS Realistic? I do when I remember to start it. It used to start automatically. It doesn't seem to do that anymore at the minute. Uh, okay, so engine two is happy. Let's get that. 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 Not that. that. 285. That'll do. Okay, so let's now um, request uh, request our taxi. Uh, do you want to do this quite? Shall I try and do this quite quickly? See if it recognises what I say. Right. Malpensa ground, easy three for Alpha Mike. Request taxi to runway. <laughs> it didn't understand that. <laughs> Aircraft calling. Request not understood. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Easy three four alpha mic request taxi. At least it told me I hadn't got a clue what I was saying. <laughs> Easy three four alpha mic runway three five right taxi via Bravo Mike Charlie. Taxi hold short runway three five right via Bravo Mike Charlie. Easy three four alpha mic. And again, if uh, if you can't be bothered to write them down, it does give you them here, so you can see all the instructions. Uh, Bravo, Mike Charlie. Should we just check what that's like then? Um, so, Bravo. That's where we are now. Mike. Yep. Yeah, and Charlie. Oh, actually, it's got that. It's got that spot on. Yep, it's got that spot on. We'll go full length departure. Awesome. So I'll get the lights on, auto brake. See, the weather radar, that's all we need to work next. After that checklist, anti-ice not required, ecom status, that is checked. Um, ignore the side stick. Pitch trim is 28.5, red and neutral. All right, let's go. <laughs> Blue on PC says, to be fair, he, he barely understood me when I tried that. It went, how amazing would it have been if he, if he had have understood what I'd said? <laughs> what will really make Beyond ATC... Uh, 
amazing, even more amazing than I think it is now. And I do like, I know I always say I fly on Vassin because that, that is the pinnacle. Um, but it doesn't give you worldwide coverage. Uh, what I think will make Beyond HCC truly amazing um, will be when um, it has got traffic injection working and you can hear it talking to other aircraft and those aircraft are being controlled properly and those aircraft are um, responding to the ATC following directions and they're not going to have uh, aircraft landing on the wrong runways or just taxiing into each other it would be uh, it would be brilliant uh, Shockwell, well, how do you set the trim for departure so I get the um, take off C of G from my load sheet which was uh, here it is I think it was 28.5 yeah 28.5 and then we just set that on the trim wheel Should be 10 knots in a 90 degree turn, but never mind. What will be nice as well, because what we will do is we're flying over uh, various airports, we'll uh, grab the ATIS and we'll just tune into it, we'll just listen to it, we'll just listen to the different voices that it uses. Uh, so, Phil, um, says you'll be able to use free traffic package uh, packages such as FSLTL. So, the uh, as far as I'm aware, and they'll correct me on this, I'm sure, uh, Beyond ATC are basically working on their own traffic injector rather than the FSLTL traffic injector because it wants to be able to control them, uh, and that is going to be awesome. Uh, Roger Moore, never understood the call signs. Easy flight numbers are usually 4D. Yeah, so don't be confused between flight numbers and call signs. They both can be different. So EasyJet's flight number usually starts with U2 and then four digits. Uh, their call signs are usually EZY and then a combination of letters and numbers. Uh, right, well, let's pretend that we know what we're doing, shall we? So, um, no change to our performance, full length departure, noise abatement two, departure, um, straight out, slight right turn, max speed of 220 knots, we've got it pre-selected to green dot, so we'll just clean up and accelerate as we go. Um, MSA is 10,300 because we've got the Alps in front of us and our initial climb 6,000. Taxi checklist, flight controls, we haven't checked them, they'll be fine. Flap setting config 1, FMA, climb up blue, 152, 6,000 blue. Um, radar and predictive wind shear, they are on. ECAM memo, finally, there we go, take off no blue. Can't hear you. All the passengers are on board and we're ready to go. I'll bring you a cup of tea after we've taken off. Lovely, thank you. So we can memo take off no blue and the EFP is stowed. Told you we could do a single engine taxi. Uh, so EasyJet have three different call signs. If they're registered in the... Hang on, I'm just working out. Am I in the right place? I think we are. Um, yeah, EasyJet have three different call signs. If it's a UK registered uh, EasyJet, it is easy. If it's a Europe uh, registered one, then it is uh, Alpine. And that was a terrible attempt at taxiing. And if it is registered in Switzerland, it is Top Swiss. So what I might do as we are departing, I might turn on the auto-respond and auto-tune and we'll let just uh, 
as would be in real life, we'll let the pilot monitoring handle the uh, communications. EZ34 Alpha Mike, contact Maltensa Tower, 128 decimal 35. 128 decimal 35, EZ34 Alpha Mike. Good night. I've already forgotten that frequency, but it's okay because Beyond ATC will show it to us. Uh, look, yeah, does it only work for the departure and arrival airport? I suppose that makes sense. Uh, oh, that's a shame. Uh, never mind. Right, let's um, sort ourselves out, shall we? Right, what frequency was it? 10835. Right, so we're now on the right frequency, and uh, let's request our lineup clearance then. Tower EZ34 Alpha Mike, request uh, departure. EZ34 Alpha Mike, Maltensa Tower, wind variable, runway 35 right, line up and cleared for takeoff. Good for takeoff, runway 35 right, easy, 34 alpha mic. Right, let's get all the lights on. TCAS, that actually does make a slight bit of difference tonight. Packs off. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, as we've been given our takeoff clearance, I'm now going to go to auto respond and auto tune. So my virtual self will, uh, will answer ATC calls. Uh, Jamie, I uh, at the moment I use Simbox for uh, for those controls. I need mini cockpits to bring out that mini overhead and mini radio because they look stunning. Uh, Roy Van Kahn, the only thing is annoying is the distorted voice. That's just Italian, I think. <laughs> right, let's go. Uh, so, yeah, cabin secure. Take it from way full in 35, right? TCAS TRA packs 1 and 2 are off. Let's go. So, take off. Start the chrono. So, I'm not in control of the comms. My f virtual first officer is now doing that. Engine stable. Set takeoff thrust. Man flex SRS. Runway auto thrust blue. Take off thrust set. Hundred knots. Of course, it's a nice long runway. This one, isn't it? V one, rotate. Positive climb, gear up. Nav. DC34 Alpha Mike, contact Milan Radar, departure 134 decimal 17. Autopilot engaged. Contact Milan Radar, departure 134 decimal 17, easy 34 Alpha Mike. Thrust climb, climb. Uh, 
Milan Radar EZ34 Alpha Mike 1800. EZ34 Alpha Mike Milan Radar departure identified climb to flight level 190. The speed clean up. Climb to flight level 190 EZ34 Alpha Mike. Open climb and 190. Blue standard pressure set. Listening to myself on that voice sounds so weird. <laughs> They've done such a good job. So there are a few in-game um, voices you can select. Obviously mine is one of them and they've done plenty of other streamers as, uh, as well. Probably have the terrain radar on for departing Milan. <laughs> Katie, did I invite my brother to be here long as the F up? It's crazy, isn't it? And do you know, people ask me what um, what, what, what did I do for, uh, you know, to sort of train my voice to get it to sound like that for the uh, Beyond ATC guys. I did nothing. I just told them they could use my voice and they picked my voice up from YouTube videos and did whatever magic... Uh, AI stuff that they do and that was it so I didn't have to spend ages reading lines or anything I did absolutely nothing and they still got it to sound like that which is just incredible so yeah Jamie you could have me as your FO <laughs> uh, actually does Beyond ATC require an internet connection yes it will Okay, I'm going to push for manage speed now. Uh, Koki, do ATC issue direct as well? Uh, I don't know if they do, actually. I can't recall if it has done or not. You can request a direct, I know that. Although they never seem to want to give it one. That might be a feature that's not yet enabled. Remember, we are still in beta. Andy says that is crazy, but also a wee bit scary. <laughs> Katie Pilot says he's the same thing as uh, as well. Uh, Ross, does it have any performance on impact with the sim? It it hasn't done for me. No. Right, I'm now going to turn auto respond off and auto tune off. Uh, yeah, but I just wanted to. I, I think it's great being able to have that on whilst you're departing. Obviously, it's a high workload situation at that point, isn't it? So if you can concentrate on what it is you're doing, then uh, you, uh, you don't need to worry. Right. Um, do the flows, spoilers, flaps, gear up, lights. Don't need those anymore. And 10,000 feet. So airports on the EFIS. We'll get rid of the seatbelts. And... Clear out the Radnav page. Cost index zero. And can we go up to our cruise plan to 38? We can't actually, so we're going to have to. Which is interesting. So my flight plan will have us climbing to flight level 380. We're a bit too heavy at the moment. So if ATC clears to 38, we're going to have to tell them, sorry, no, can we, uh, can we take maybe 36 in, uh, instead? Clear out the secondary flight plan as well, which had our. Um, engine out procedure in it uh, Bearded Canuck says uh, he asked on their discord about directs and shortcuts apparently they're going to be something that will be looked into when traffic comes out I mean that makes sense because they're going to have to check with conflicting traffic aren't they which is great which is awesome <coughs> So at the moment we are on Milan's uh, Thermal Radar Approach Control Frequency. Hey Sky Blue Radio, good, uh, good afternoon mate, hope you're doing well. So say we've got a two hour flight through lots of different flight information regions and we'll check out different voices as well, but showing off the premium voices at the moment. Uh, 
Uh, Tanish, can you see me control, uh, communicate with the controls? Oh, yeah, sorry, I was doing it at the start of the stream. I just had the auto respond on whilst uh, whilst I was taking off. Just to reduce my um, workload. Uh, Beyond ATC, also live in the chat over on Twitch, says we're still working on some step climbs, so at the moment um, it won't uh, it won't work. Uh, so we'll see. Um, We'll see what happens. Although, I'm pretty certain, I checked the other day when I was doing a, a test flight with this, I requested a, uh, a particular altitude, and they did... Um, I can't remember if they did allow me to do it or not. I can't remember. They might not have done now you've said that, but, but never mind. If they tell us no, we're going to have to go to flight level 380, then, uh, well... We'll just... Uh, We'll just have to throw some passengers off. <laughs> Lighten the aircraft so uh, we're okay. Easy, 3-4 Alpha Mike. Contact Milan Radar, 124 decimal 25. Milan Radar, 124 decimal 25. Easy, 3-4 Alpha Mike. Good night. One two four two five. Milan radar, easy three four alpha mic, passing flight level one seven five for flight level one nine zero. Easy three four alpha mic, Milan radar, good evening. Climb to flight level three eight zero. Climb to flight level 380, easy, 34 alpha mic. Negative, climb to flight level 380. What was it I said? Maybe it didn't understand me. Climb to flight level 380, easy, 34 alpha mic. I love the fact that he said good night because obviously, presumably, in the daytime, he's not going to say that. Um, so yeah, I don't think altitude changes are working just yet prior to uh, uh, at the moment. But I will just double check. Milan radar, easy three four alpha mic. Request flight level three six zero. Easy three four alpha mic. Unable new altitude. Okay, so it understand what it understood what I was saying, but obviously couldn't allow us to do that yet. Okay, that's fine. Well, flight level three eight zero. We'll, uh, we'll stick with that for now. Mike says it sounds just like Rome radar on uh, on Vatsim. Um, FPT, do we know how it will handle the peculiarities of a UK air traffic control services, particularly services outside controlled um, airspace? So. What they are doing is if there are any sort of particular airports, airfields that have a particular um, set of instructions, you know, th things that they would do that might be out of the uh, realms of normality, they have got the beta team sort of feeding back that information to them. And they are, um, just realised the flight plan's got discontinuity in it, let me just get rid of that. They are um, sort of programming in. Um, any special things. So, f for example, there are several airports where they have preferred runways. So, it might be that if you were using default air traffic control in Microsoft Flight Simulator, for example, if you, if the preferred runway at, I don't know, um, LAX was to always um, <coughs> always come in over the uh, over the Atlantic up to a point where the tailwind is less than five knots then even with a tailwind you would be landing with the uh, with a tailwind rather than it automatically just swapping around so you're always landing with a headwind as they would do in uh, in real life and that's the sort of thing which default ATC can't do because it doesn't know um, what are the preferred runways for certain airports? Um, so places like Geneva, I think, also have something similar. They prefer, uh, I forget which runway it is, but the one that comes in over Lake Geneva, um, up to about five knots, something, uh, something like that. Uh, Darfur, are there different accents? Yes. 
god, yes, there's uh, there's loads. So we're obviously Milan radar at the moment, but I would imagine we're going to be handed over to Swiss uh, control. I mean, we've got uh, speaking of Geneva, it's down there, isn't it? So not uh, not too far away. To be fair, yeah, double, uh, even in Malpensa, they use runway 35 uh, during the daytime up to about 10 knots of tailwind. It makes sense because obviously coming in the other way around, you've got the Alps in the way, which makes things difficult. Um, so, yeah, of course, where, where we've just departed from is uh, a good example. The weather was all right, though, tonight, wasn't it? Because it was, um, it, it was light and variable, so it really didn't make too much, uh, too much of a difference. And it says the implementation of air traffic control chatter with AI flight radar traffic is mind blowing. Yeah, if um, you know, if, if beyond ATC get the traffic injection, very similar to how FSLTL can do it, which is very close to live um, live flight radar twenty four information, then it's it's going to be so good. So, what do you think at the uh, at the moment, then, guys? Tell me what you think at the moment. You've obviously heard the premium voices. What we'll do now is we're going to um, we're going to switch over. So, and you can do this on the fly. We'll go to the basic voices. So these wouldn't cost you any sort of characters. So we'll wait to see what happens next time we get a uh, <coughs> an ATC. Easy three four Alpha Mike, contact Swiss Radar one two six decimal zero five. One two six decimal zero five is E three four Alpha Mike. Okay, so these voices that you're hearing now, that one that you just heard, that is not a premium voice. That is free. That is inclusive of the program. Uh, what was that frequency? One two six zero five. Let's see how this sounds. Swiss radar. Swiss radar, good evening, easy three four alpha mic, passing flight level two nine zero for flight level three eight zero. Easy three four alpha mic, Swiss radar, Roger. It's probably not the most Swiss accent I've ever heard. <laughs> but these are the free voices. And I know they were doing a lot of work um, on making sure that the right voices are in the right areas, which, that must be a nightmare. Uh, will you detect if you read back a wrong frequency or flight level? Dave, that is a good question. Next frequency we get, I'll read it back wrong and we'll see what happens. Remind me though. <laughs> Mark, it is great training for VATS in, definitely. Uh, and Mike says, this looks like an awesome tool to help you train the retention of ATC instructions and the stress of aviating and communicating. Yeah, back is, it did sound a bit Japanese, that didn't it? But So whilst we're, uh, whilst we're waiting for yet another ATC uh, instruction, so I'm just going to check. So, so someone said earlier that we can't... Um, we can't listen to ATIS that we are uh, that we're flying over, which is uh, which is a shame. That it would have been would have been really cool. Maybe that's something that will come uh, come in the future. Steve says he's waiting to hear Peter K on London <laughs> radar. <laughs> but a lot of you have said that even with the. Um, 
the, even with the basic voices which we've got turned on at the moment, you're more than happy with them. I mean, it beats the default voice any day of the week, doesn't it? Uh, right, yeah, question time. Ignore those sounds in the background, that's just because I was typing away. Okay, so I've just started a poll. I'm very curious to see what you guys say. So would you buy Beyond ATC on its day of release? Get your... Uh, cast your votes in now for me. Uh, Victor MD11, do you yet see any of the traffic injection yet? No, because that is not yet ready. That is not yet available, so we're effectively just flying in empty skies at the minute. Um, but traffic injection, this is one of the... Um, this is one of the things that they put out to you guys to answer. Did you want to fly with... Um, did you want to fly with Beyond ATC and have them release it without the traffic injection straight away? Or did you want them to wait until traffic injection was ready? And loads of people respond and say, no, release it now and bring the traffic injection um, at a later date. Uh, so that that is the plan. Uh, Paul T says, I'm really hoping that Beyond ATC program will control AI traffic um, more efficient than the Microsoft Flight Sim equivalent allows to share the skies with uh, more aircraft without us slowing down. Paul T, that is exactly what the plan, uh, what the plan is. Uh, Graham, very impressive, but uh, you do a lot of general aviation uh, road trip. Will it work on smaller airfields? Graham, I haven't personally tested yet, uh, tested that. Um, I've always... Um, I, I, I've always worked with uh, with airliners, but um, I think some of the other beta team have tested it with smaller um, have tested it with smaller uh, aircrafts and uh, routes, and said it uh, it has worked uh, it has worked very well. Uh, Tanish, um, am I saying that Beyond ATC will use the real-world landing and departing runways as per real life? Yes, Tanish, yes it should, yes. Mark said you'd buy it now just so you could um, train for VATSIM. Double P99, will it allow step climbs? Not yet. I mean, we got clear to flight level 190 and then up to flight level 38. Um, but that is something that they are working on uh, in, the, uh, in the future, ready for its... Uh, ready for its release. I think we've got Geneva down there, there's Lake Geneva anyway, so we have Geneva the airport, it's round here somewhere. So 132 people voted so far, would you buy Beyond ATC on its day of release? 77 people say yes, uh, 23 say no at, uh, at the moment. Uh, Groot, is it possible to request a specific flight level or a direct or emergency landing? So, the specific flight levels, um, not yet. The direct you can request them, but they're not going to be allowed, they're not going to be given. Uh, in fact, uh, where, I mean, where are we at the, um, at the moment? Are we currently ahead of direct Romeo Lima Papa? So, our next waypoint after that is D-Door, is it? Oh no, it's not. It's uh, Charlie Tango Lima. So, I mean, if you request it, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, Swiss Radar, EZ34 Alpha Mike, request direct Charlie Tango Lima. EZ34 Alpha Mike, do it to ongoing work on traffic injection. Direct to fix health being disabled. Unable direct at this time. Okay, so it recognised that I was asking for it, um, but as it's just said, due to ongoing work with the traffic injection, direct to fixes has been disabled, so that doesn't work at the moment. Um, so let me just flip back to the premium voice. Obviously, we've got a. Uh, I mean, it doesn't sound very Swiss that at the moment, does it? But let me just flip this back to premium. I'm going to ask the same question again, just so we can listen to it. Um, so, where was it? 
Charlie Tango Lima. Swiss Radar Easy 34 Alpha Mike, request direct to Charlie Tango Lima. Easy 34 Alpha Mike, due to ongoing work on traffic injection, direct to fix has been disabled, unable direct at this time. Okay, so obviously the same response, but that was a perfect um, accent, wasn't it, for Swiss radar. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Didn't sound Japanese in the slightest. Uh, Steve, can you assign a push to talk button? Yeah, that is what I'm doing. Um, so I'm using a button on my side stick, uh, the same one as used in real life, the, uh, the one, oh, you can't see it, but yeah, the one on there. That's Mac Alt Star. Uh, Jamie, how does it react to wrong or unexpected response? Well, I said we we would we would test this because the next um, frequency change I get, I'll I'll read back the frequency wrong, see what happens. Uh, right, that's Mac Alt Crew, so just do the usual stuff. <coughs> uh, so we want to pop cost in excellent back to. And we'll go through the SD pages, just make sure nothing's broken. Funnily enough, I have got failures enabled in the Phoenix tonight, so I'm, I'm hoping no nothing goes wrong with the aircraft. Because at the moment, failures don't work in Beyond ATC. So we have to go to, uh, to Liverpool regardless. Uh, Ronald, great to the difference. Can you also try the basic premium voice? Uh, that was what we was on before, I think. Um, yeah, so the, the one that sounded a bit Japanese, that was a basic premium voice. Uh, yeah, sorry, that was a basic voice. Let's, let's not confuse the two. Uh, Lightspeed, can you say something silly that wouldn't be expected on frequency? Um, you can, but it just says, like, yeah, I can't understand you. Craig, on my Vatsim days numbered, will be on DT with Beyond ATC if it gets good enough. Would it replace Vatsim for me? Uh, Craig, no. No, it wouldn't. But for me, do you know, I would have it supplemented in areas of the world, large areas of the world, where you might have ATC when you're on the ground, um, on Vatsim that is. You might have Vatsim coverage on the ground and maybe for that centre, but then if you're travelling for a thousand miles with no ATC uh, coverage, you will be able to start beyond ATC mid-flight and beyond ATC can then give you that coverage. What is important though, if you are doing that, remember you must still be monitoring Unicom um, on uh, maybe COM2. So you'll be able to uh, select um, select COM2 and monitor 1 to 2 decimal 8. Obviously turn that up so you can hear it. Um, <coughs> so you can hear any uh, communications on Unicom. And then when you're approaching your airport, I would turn beyond ATC off so I can make all my calls on Unicom with VATSIM so I'm not interfering with anybody else. So it would be great for the crew segment of the flight to give you some realistic um, realistic ATC. Fruitback gifting 10 EasyJet Sim Pilot Channel memberships. Fruitback, thank you so much. That is amazing. Welcome to our... Uh, our new uh, new channel members that is uh, awesome support through that thank you mate really do really do appreciate that <coughs> uh roger which fcu am i using tonight at the moment i'm still using my um mini i'm still using the uh, the mini fcu just because i didn't have time to set up the other one um this evening uh, but the drivers for that are now uh, now available so when people start to receive that, that is going to be uh, is going to be great news indeed. Uh, Go Soul Peace says, "Yeah, I'd also use it to supplement vaccine gaps in uh, in coverage." I think the um, the problem is you need it, it, it's great during the cruise, but you must remember um, to work and listen to Unicom if you're on Vatsim. Um, the, the last thing you want is to be on Vatsim, but coming into land and following beyond ATC air traffic control. <laughs> that, that would be that would be absolute uh, 
Absolute chaos. Steve, you just looked on Batson for my location. It won't be there. <laughs> it, it won't be there. Uh, so a couple of people saying it's uh, it's too expensive. Well, remember that the um, the price for this it's it's not bad at all. Remember the pricing structure has now changed. Um, in fact, we just have a uh, let just have a quick look. Uh, yeah, so this is it now. So it's thirty dollars. Yeah. It is. PC three four Alpha Mike contact Reams radar one two one decimal zero seven. Okay, let's read that back um, wrong. One three one decimal zero seven. Easy three four Alpha Mike. Negative Reams radar on one two one decimal zero seven. <laughs> that is brilliant. I didn't think that was going to work. One two one decimal zero seven easy three four alpha mic. Oh, I, yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. Oh, that that has surprised me. Brim's radar. Good evening. Easy three four alpha mic. Flight all three eight zero. Easy three four alpha mic, flight level three eight zero. Aircraft calling did not copy. Oh. Doesn't like my voice. I'll give that one more try. Rames radar, good evening, easy three four alpha mic. Easy three four alpha mic, say altitude. Oh, it's shouting at me now. Easy three four alpha mic flight level three eight zero. Easy three four alpha mic green radar Roger. So yeah, I'll quite happily shout at you if you get things wrong or forget things. Um, what it does the rotation function of the wing wing FCU uh, click like the mini FCU? Yes, it does. Yes. Um, in fact, I have got it sat next to me here. So if you don't want. I don't know if it'll pick this up, but these are the clicks of the win wing. I don't know if you can hear that, but yes, that is the win wing uh, FCU. Right, should probably do a fuel check as well, should Oh, we'll do it later. We'll do it later. Okay, so what I am going to do, though, is... Um, I'm just going to... I'm just going to increase cost index 50. It's going to be a late night in Liverpool, if not. Uh, so I'm gonna just check on the uh, the poll at the moment. Oh, actually, it's still the same. Two hundred and uh, what we got about two hundred and fifty-seven, fifty, yeah, fifty-seven votes. Seventy-seven percent still saying they'd buy it on day one. Which is good. Uh, sea Eagle, do I think Vatsim controllers will be less frequent with the release of Beyond ATC? I don't think so. No, no, no. Remember, for those of you that like Vatsim, I can't see many people wanting to exclusively use Beyond ATC. Um, personally, for me, I'd like it during the long cruise sections where there's no um, where, where there's no Vatsim coverage. I think the two would work very well. Uh, together. Uh, 
Andy Beckett says if I could spend as much on my flight sim as I do on council tax, I'd be happy. <laughs> uh, Ghost Hall, please, does Beyond ATC handle uh, declared emergencies? Not at the moment, so I couldn't request a, a diversion at the um, at the moment. Uh, Roy, did you manage to set up the uh, wind wing without uh, drivers? No, 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 not not without the drivers. Now wait, wait until the drivers are. Although apparently I think they are. I just haven't had a chance to uh, to set that up yet. Uh, Tanish, would oceanic clearance work uh, at the moment? I haven't done an oceanic flight, so but I can find out for you. Um, if you want to see us in the chat, they'll come back and let me know. Uh, but I, I've not done an oceanic flight. Can you imagine doing it if we did like a Heathrow JFK with Beyond ATC? Just, just for the hell of it, see what happens. Uh, Jamie, if you get overwhelmed on approach and you're behind the aircraft and you get a complex instruction from air traffic control, um, could you just say, copy all? I don't know, Jamie. <laughs> but what you could do is you could let your um, you could let your co-pilot handle it. A couple of people also mentioning Maxwell Flight Simulator 2024. Now, will it be compatible with that? I'm sure it will be eventually. Will it be compatible on release? I don't know. Um, I think Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 is going to be very interesting, isn't it? Right, so in about 50 miles we should enter French airspace. So, let's see if we get a nice French accent for, um, for that. Paul T says, I hopefully will choose Beyond ATC to prepare you for that sim, as the prospect fills me with dread. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad, Paul. But yes, it would. I think Beyond ATC is an absolutely brilliant um, training tool for VATSIM. If that's your end game and you want to make it to VATSIM but haven't got that confidence yet, this is great because you can talk to it. And if you get something wrong and it yells at you, it's not a real person <laughs> yelling at you, which is quite nice. Uh, the toaster, what would happen if you don't do what Beyond ADC tells you to? Um, honestly, I don't know because I haven't tested it, but at the moment it is expecting you to follow the commands that it, uh, that it gives you. Craig says, wouldn't it be awesome if Vatsim got together with Beyond ATC to use their technology when ATC isn't online? I'd happily pay a monthly fee for that. Oh, Craig, that is... that's futuristic talk. It would be amazing, but yes. KW Airlines, which is the better quality, Wing Wing or Mini Cockpit? Oh, I knew I was going to get asked this question. Which is the better quality? It, honestly, hand on heart, I would say they're both the same. I would say they're both the same. I'd say there's maybe a little bit more detail in the Mini FCU. Um, but in terms of the build quality, they're both very, very good. I think what's going to sway people one way or the other is how much space you've got to play with. Uh, Stuart says, I'm new to your channel over the last few weeks, really enjoying the content and learning a lot. Stuart, thanks for, uh, thanks for being here. Really glad you could catch us live tonight as, uh, as well. ATC, I'm, I will never desert you. VATSIM is always going to be my primary source of air traffic control. But if VATSIM's not around, then um, I could fill in the gaps. And then you can close eight. You can just close beyond ATC. Um, you can do, yeah. You can, you could just close beyond ATC and concentrate on um, on Vatsim. Then if Vatsim logs off, you can reopen beyond ATC and fill the gap in that way. You literally can dip dip in and out of it. Christian T, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate that. Uh, 
uh, if you're watching on Twitch, my apologies, I've just lost, um, I've just lost my chat connection, so if you're speaking to me, <laughs> I'm really sorry, I can't see it, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. So, if you have asked something, or have been saying something in the last few minutes, my apologies, I completely missed it. Uh, right, Beyond ATC has responded. I just, yeah, the chat window had frozen. Um, talking about oceanic clearances, that is on the to-do list, but traffic injection would probably need, uh, would, would come first. And I think that's fair, because once you guys get traffic injection in, that is going to be a game-changer for, um, for sure. KW Islands, were you able to transfer your community folder from Microsoft Flats in 2020 to 2024? This is something I uh, talked about a few months ago. I wondered if that would be the case. That would be great if you could. Um, so, will that work or not? I have no idea. But Craig, um, if ever there was a way to get beyond ATC technology, incorporating, uh, working alongside Vatsim so they worked together to cover the entire world, yeah, I'd, I'd pay a monthly fee for that. I'd definitely pay a monthly fee for that. No, uh, no question. So just whilst we're in the cruise at the moment, um, sh just a uh, bit of a shameless plug. If you uh, are enjoying the... Uh, the stream, then please do hit the like button. Three, three, four, Alpha Mike, contact Paris radar one three two decimal one. Let's go to Paris first, shall we? One three two decimal one for easy three four Alpha Mike. Good night. Paris Radar, good evening, EZ34 Alpha Mike, flight level 380. EZ34 Alpha Mike, Paris Radar, roger. <coughs> there we go. Uh, so yeah, as uh, as I was saying, just during the, uh, the quiet parts of the flight, now we're in the... Uh, French airspace. Uh, if you are liking the stream, please do remember to uh, to hit that like button. It really does help to uh, to, to promote the channel with um, with the YouTube algorithms. Um, if you're in the mood for um, shopping with Innibills as well, our channel partner, then please do use the link at the top of the uh, the chat and in the video description uh, below. And uh, Grabbing the uh, Innibuilds scenery or aircraft from those links does also help uh, support the channel as well. Or if you're in the mood for aviation uh, merchandise, then do check out our uh, aviation merch partner, Aviation Isle. Again, in the uh, in the video description uh, below. So, a little bit of housekeeping. Sound like one of the flight attendants on a real EasyJet flight, don't I? Just trying to upsell stuff. But anyway. <laughs> Um, Tactical Buster, who am I talking to? Is it AIATC? It is. This is beyond ATC, the most realistic air traffic control for um, for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is still beta, though. It is not uh, yet currently available, but it will be soon. Which we're very excited about. Uh, Tanner, should you say French radar instead of Paris radar? No, because we're in um, uh, French radar. That that would be the whole country. This is this is Paris radar uh, that we're uh, that we're under. <laughs> Messi, will Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 come out before 2025? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Andy, no release date uh, as of yet. Um, but I, uh, I do know that we're, we're talking weeks, not months, which is uh, which is good. I think loads of people now in the uh, in the chat voting on, uh, on whether they get it on day one and uh, yeah 
three quarts of you looking for a day day one purchase Uh, Dead was watching a video beyond ATC. He says uh, he saw that there was a runway change during the cruise, so very excited for that. Yeah, so obviously we'll react to uh, weather um, situations, changing weather situations, which is good. Another more step towards uh, step towards reality, really, isn't it? Uh, tomorrow, so how much would this flight cost using the air traffic control? Um, I'm not sure, to be entirely honest with you. But what you do have down here is this is how much of my premium characters uh, I have got left, uh, for example. Um, although this is the beta build, so I'm not sure if this is... Uh, if, the, if these actually go down at the moment whilst we're, whilst we're testing it. Uh, though I can find out. Uh, so just make a quick note of that. What is it? Just look at the last four digits. 8,401. So if we um, verify the next fix, and if I get my uh, co-pilot to do this for me, so they can do that. Easy 3-4 Alpha Mike, please verify name of my next fix. Easy 3 4 Alpha Mike, I show you going direct Chatillon sur Mande droit, then to Didot. Wilco, direct to Chatillon sur Mande VOR, then to Didot, easy 3 4 Alpha Mike. No way, the virtual me's pronunciation of French names is better than <laughs> mine in real life. <laughs> I can never pronounce anything in French. <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, so, has that used any uh, characters? Oh yeah, it has, look. There you go. That used about 300 characters, I think. Of course, when I'm talking, then it'll use less characters because it's not using uh, the AI voice. Seriously, that French pronunciation, that was... <laughs> that was awesome. I need virtual... I, I need the virtual me to work with me live on that sim. <laughs> it's far better than I am. <laughs> Uh, Steve, are the controlled regions correct? Yes, they are. Yeah. Uh, Organ, you grabbed SimSmart the other day. Happy with it. Well, you are more than welcome, Organ. Uh, Twilight says it's going to cost flyers a fortune. Well, not really. Um, I mean, how many... How many did that cost me? 300. So it's about, they say it's about an hour. You, when you purchase it, you get about an hour of, um, is it an hour? That can't be right. About an, right, about an hour of speech. Well, that's speaking continuously for, uh, for an hour. Um, isn't it? 50,000 free premium characters. But of course, you can, um, with premium, you get a million characters. That's an extra cost of 30. Average flight, with or without traffic, is about 15,000 characters. About 45 pence. Average flight, then, 45 pence. And there, as you can see as well. So if you heard something like United 259, Richmond, Williams, clear to Miami Air Airport, radar vectors, honky, then it's filed. It's maintained 4,000, expect flight level 380. 10 minutes after departure, departure frequency 12675, squawk 5501 is 191 characters. But of course, you don't have to use the premium um, character, uh, premium voices. You can use the um, you can use the basic characters, or you can mix and match. Of course, you can um, you can have the controller voices on premium, so it sounds really good. Then you can have uh, traffic voices on basic, so there is no cost. Of course, there's no traffic at the moment to speak of.
that will come later. So in order to know what it is you can do with ATC, um, they are given down here, so we could call ready for descent, we're not going to do that yet. Uh, request heading to next fixed, which is great if obviously you're uh, flying sort of VFR kind of stuff. Um, verify the next fix, we've done that. Submit a pilot report. Um, okay, show that off for you. We'll get uh, my guy next to me to do that. Easy 34 Alpha Mike experiencing light turbulence, flight level 380. Easy 34 Alpha Mike, Roger. Thanks for the pilot. And you've already seen me do the radio check, so that's uh, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Um, Paul says uh, that unlike Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, air traffic control, will it respect and give proper guidance for SIDS and SARS? Yes, Paul, it should. Um, the reason I wanted to pick somewhere like Liverpool tonight, somewhere in the UK, is because the um, the standard arrival routes don't take you. Um, they don't take you right to the final approach fix. So, um, if we uh, let me just bring up the charts. So if we'd been landing somewhere in uh, in Europe tonight, um, like Germany or uh, even in Italy, the star takes you straight to the final approach fix, and then it, you're on the ILS straight away. But we're going to test it a little bit tonight by coming into Liverpool. So we're on the Elvis arrival, which is uh, this just here. Um, yeah, so we're going to come in, then to Trent, and then it will take us to uh, Keegan. Now, there's two things that could happen. It could take us to Keegan, and then um, it will vector us in for the ILS approach for runway, I think it's 27, we're expected to land on. Um, so, just, uh, just get that chart pinned. Yeah, so it will then take us... Uh, hopefully it will vector us for uh, an ILS uh, approach um, and it's going to have to vector us because otherwise we're not going to pick up the ILS so it's going to be interesting to see how it will uh, how it will do that I'm just going to pin these charts that I don't actually need anymore in uh, in Milan okay And of course, like I say, once we get to uh, once we get to Liverpool, I don't expect to to be able to give us full taxi instructions because I'm only got the default Azobo um, scenery in here. So Azobo, for some reason, don't have the correct taxiways and uh, and things. So it might not might not like that. Uh, Roy Van Can, will there be use of characters when Beyond ATC is talking to other uh, uh, traffic? Yes, it will. But remember, you will be able then to just use the non-premium voice of that, so it doesn't cost you anything. Jamie, so it doesn't even pick up FSL tail at the time? No, it doesn't. No, no. Uh, through about, but would the controller um, cost uh, if it was set to... Oh, I see what you're saying. So the controller, if it was set to premium voices when it's responding to traffic, that would cost you. Yes, it would. I don't know if there's plans to have it talking to... If I thought there was plans to have it. So, if the controller is talking to you, it uses a premium voice. If it's talking to AI traffic, it uses a basic voice, and you can mix and match like that. Um, I'm not sure if that is that is the case. Uh, it's not at the moment, but we've not got any other traffic to actually test that with, so I can't say for definite if, uh, if that's right or not. But I think AI traffic communications, we just have a look at those settings again. Uh, I think that would be set to, uh, if you set that to basic, I would imagine the control would also talk in a basic voice. Uh, so at the moment though, none of this is, uh, none of this is right, this, this isn't working. So ignore this. You could also just turn the traffic density down as well, of course, but as I say, that's not yet there. Uh, 
Mark, if you run out of premium voices a bit flat, will it run out? Yeah, it'll just reset to the free ones. Yeah. Plane spotter, any release date on this yet? Um, all I can say is it's weeks, not months. So each passing day it's getting closer, which is very exciting. Uh, no one knows, am I using the FCU from Wimbling at the moment on this flight? I'm not, because I hadn't got a chance to set it up prior to doing the stream tonight. Maybe on the next stream we do. So I'm using the mini, uh, mini FCU this evening. Hey Leon, good evening to you. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so we can pretty much guess when we're next going to be handed over um, to another controller. If we have a look at our um, operational flight plan tonight, we are at uh, Nermo at the moment. So we'll find that about 53 minutes into our flight. Yeah, there's Nermo. So I would imagine... Well, yeah, we've got the London boundary at Sovat, haven't we? So not long now, about 10 minutes before we get handed over to, uh, to London Control. And then we'll be passed through the various sectors down into uh, into Liverpool. Now, of course, the landing and how it's going to handle that, that is the bit that uh, many of you will be keen to see how it's, uh, how it's going to be. Uh, F. Drake, is there an option to speed up the speech? Seems like they talk quite slow, making it sound fake. That's interesting you say that, Drake, because a lot of other people have said they talk really fast. <laughs> um, so I guess it's just it varies from controller to controller, which is uh, which is great. Uh, no one knows, is it not plug and play? Uh, it will be, but the drivers for it um, were only released very recently, like sort of uh, in the last few hours, I believe, uh, that I got hold of the drivers. So um, I just, yeah, I need to set that up. Organ, will I do another video on the Wimming? Yeah, I will do another video on it, um, showing basically how you set that up, because I know a few people want to see the... Because the Sim app Pro that they use is... Uh, it didn't seem very intuitive, but we'll work our way through it and get a video on that for you. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow, though, Organ. I never know what's happening from day to day. So, we should probably do a fuel check, shouldn't we? So, we are coming up to Nermo. We took seven tonnes of fuel. Uh, so, how much extra fuel should we have? Let me just see. So, we took about 300 extra kilo, uh, 300 kilogram extra, plus 200 for the contingency. So, we should have about half a tonne extra. Um, so, Nermo at the top there. So, we should have about 3.8 tonnes of All right, guys, hopefully we're uh, back up. Yeah, nothing wrong with the aircraft or uh, beyond ATC. Streamlabs having a bit of a moment, it, uh, it seems. So, sorry about that.
<laughs> Andy says loving the outside night view. Yeah, that is all it was. Oh, it is annoying when Streamlabs does that, though. People disappear and we, uh, we end up losing the viewers, but never mind. You guys are still here. That's the main thing. You didn't miss any ATC comms, anyway. Uh, so what we are going to do is... Uh, let me just check what the ATC is for... Um, for Liverpool. Uh, it's 12433, three, so we will... Um, We'll tune that as to come to. One, two, four, three, three. And we'll monitor that. Lulu, wind one nine and zero at eight few clouds at 2,400. Temperature one four, dew point one two, QNH one zero two five. Landing and departing, runway 27. Transition level 050. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Victor. We'll get the rest of that. Liverpool John Lennon Airport, information, Victor. 2020 Zulu. Wind 190 at 8 few clouds at 2400. Temperature 14. Dew point 12. QNH 1025. Landing and departing, runway 27. Transition level 050. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Victor. Okay, so that's... Liverpool John uh, Lennon Airport, all right, all right. information, Victor. 2020 Zulu. Wind Go away. Um, so that is... Uh, that's what we need from there. Just confirming that we... Uh, all landing runway 27, QNH1025, so we'll set that now. And then we'll uh, look at... Uh, look at the approach and what we need from, from this. Uh, so, simple stuff to begin with, platform altitude 2,000 feet, 3 degree ILS, runway visual range 550, that's fine, minimum is going to be 278, fill this in whilst we're there. QNH is in. Oh, did anyone grab the temperature? I forgot to write the temperature down. What a pain. Uh, Andy, are you listening to the real me or the AI? <laughs> yeah, I promise this is the real one. <laughs> oh, Mark, you watching on TV? You don't have F5 on the TV. Never mind. Uh, yeah, what was the temperature? Advise on initial contact, you have information, Victor. Liverpool John Lennon Airport information, Victor. 2020 Zulu, wind 190 at 8 few clouds at 2400, temperature 14, dew point 12, QNH 1025, landing and departing runway 27, transition level 050. Advise on initial contact, you have information, Victor. There we go. So, uh, so all that's in. So it's a nice manual landing for us today. Uh, oh man, what's that? Hang on. We've had a failure. Should have turned these off. Uh, engine left tank two's got low pressure on it. Okay. Well, right. So. Just need to uh, confirm the fault. That's fine. So, diagnose the fault, and we've confirmed it for the ECAM actions. So, left pump off. And 
just check. That's fine. Okay, so uh, options. It's not actually going to affect us. It would affect us if the other pump um, died as well. Uh, make the uh, the options obviously die a little, or continue. We're going to continue. It's not going to call. Uh, it's not going to cause any issues at the uh, at the moment. Once we've got that work, the second pump working. So that's the uh, that's the decision. Obviously, if something else happens, then we would have to divert. It can be on ATC handle diverts. Sadly, not. So <laughs> I'm hoping nothing else goes wrong. Okay, I'm happy with that. We've uh, reviewed our options. We've made the decision. It's not going to uh, not going to affect us. We're off to Liverpool as well, of course, which is um, an easy jet base. So there'll be an MOC there. Um, they can fix it. And it's not my problem after that. So, um, happy clear recap. Steve says that random fail was better than uh, the Hemis Points Redemption fault. <laughs> it was, yes. <laughs> Hey Yoji, good to see you. Uh, Mike, time to test if Beyond ATC can handle non-normals, pans have made it. It can't at the moment, Mike, no. Uh, Casmania, where did I download the Ecozool Golf Sierra airframe? So this is the channel airframe. Uh, so this is one that was created by Dark Fury, our livery creator for the channel. So that's where this came from. In fact, if you are a middle or higher team member, you can actually download this uh, this airframe on uh, on our Discord server. Right. Hopefully, um, Streamlabs will behave itself for uh, for the next hour. In fact, we should be on the ground sooner than that. Should be on the ground in a little over half an hour, about 40 minutes or so. Fingers crossed. Right, let's just close up the uh, close up the voting then. So, over 500 people have voted, um, and. 68% would purchase Beyond ATC on day one of its release. Uh, Organ, just drop us a message and we'll uh, chat about that for you. So I'm expecting uh, London Control to come online. I say London Control to come online. That's like I'm talking on Vatsim. Obviously, we're not on Vatsim. Uh, but yeah, London... Uh, we'll be handed over to London Centre very soon, I think. Uh, Airborne Innovations, good evening, says, been watching the streams for the last week or so, really enjoying them. Why say hello? Airborne, thank you so much for uh, for watching, and good to see you on uh, online with us again to uh, tonight. <laughs> Fireball, can I get? No, I can't. <laughs> I wouldn't even know how. Hey, AV8, good to see you. Is, is there anyone in the chat tonight? I love doing this. Is there anyone in the chat tonight who has never seen... Uh, has never joined us before on uh, on stream. If you have, please do say hello. Love meeting new uh, new people and uh, building the community. So yeah, won't be long now until uh, we get handed over to London. Or at least it uh, shouldn't be. So we'll just do the usual stuff and check that. Uh, the Alpha Mike, contact London Radar 134 decimal 1 2, bye bye. Contact London Radar 134 decimal 1 2, easy 34 Alpha Mike.
I forgot that the auto response was on. I'll turn that off now and I'll do that myself. I might put that back on when we're coming into land though under workload high, which is uh, exactly how it's done in real life. Uh, one, three, four, one, two, five. Uh, oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Oh, that's why. Ignore me. I'm having a senior moment. One, three, four, one, two, five. There we go. London Control, good evening, easy 34 Alpha Mike, flight level 380. Easy 34 Alpha Mike, London Radar, Roger. Ah, oh, the Queen's English. Uh, Mark, salute to you, first time on the stream, awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, Milan. Uh, Peter, also a first-timer. Monster first time watching a, uh, a Boeing driver. <laughs> I'll not hold that against you, Monster. Don't you like the lovely looking layout of this, uh, this flight deck and this really, really neat little table that you can eat your lunch off? <laughs> Hope you're doing well, mate. Anyway, thank you for joining us this evening. Oh, the master caution. Cancel the master caution. Uh, we can disregard this fault. It's a simism issue, so clear he can. Hey, Tate W, good to see you on stream. Right, we're inbound Lambourne. Uh, so I was just going through the box, wasn't I? Yes, yeah, so we've obviously got, um, I've got discontinuity there. That's fine, I have to leave that for the time being. Uh, Radnav page, it's not really too much around Liverpool. I think there's an NDB um, knocking about. So we're not flying this like a real ops flight this evening. Um, yeah, Liverpool NDB. So we'll just pre-tune that in case we have to fly it in anger. <coughs> Echo Golf Golf. Whiskey, runway 27 is the plan. That's the wrong airport, that's Luton. I've been flying so many uh, ops into Luton recently, stuck on the brain. Uh, the approach page is all filled out and set. That's fine. Uh, right, in case we need to go around, um, let me just check what we've got. Uh, straightforward here. 1,500 feet, right turn to the locator, and uh, 2,000 feet. Straightforward. All right, so if everyone's ready for a brief... Um, Obviously, coming in on the Elvos arrival, we're under ATC instructions, so we'll obviously follow them as we go. Um, we expect Keegan, flight level 7-0. ATC might vector us off early, but if not, we'll expect Keegan 7,000. After that, get vectored to uh, Liverpool. Leaving Keegan, then, we will um, be at S speed. No, we won't. We'll be at green dot speed. Uh, at, uh, at Keegan, leave Keegan, then obviously as we align with the ILS we'll, uh, we want to make sure we're flaps two prior to that, so that's how we're going to fly the approach. Um, Liverpool straight forward, it's uh, not the biggest of runways, um, but it's normal three degree ILS, minimums 278, but the weather's fine tonight, no real threats with that. Uh, and then once we've landed, we are vacating off to the right, most likely on Echo Delta. Uh, I say we're not doing full real ops procedures this evening, but uh, 59, 60, 61 and a half tons looks with a landing weight. So, just double check. Runway 27, 61, we'll be conservative, 61.7. Uh, auto brake low, flaps full, I prefer to do flaps 3 if we can. 
Right then, this is available is 2285, required 2279, so that's close. Um, just looking at the weather there, that weather that we've got there is different from the weather that we got on the last ATIS. So. Information Victor 2050 Zulu, wind 190 at 12 ceiling 2800 broken, temperature 14. Okay, one two. No, it's not changed. It's not changed. Uh, still, all right, a little bit of a tailwind. Can we do flaps three? Yeah, we can. Flaps three will be fine. And we can use uh, we can use idle reverse if it's not going to be stopping as much as I think I want us to then we'll use max reverse but bear in mind that it always stops very very well on max off flight simulator a little bit unrealistically <coughs> Chris Hogg, good evening sir, hope you're doing well great to see you joining us tonight uh, so take, how's the stream been? oh the um, <laughs> the, the streams, the stream itself has been fine. Streamlabs has been playing havoc though with the actual stream and keeps dropping out on YouTube for some reason. But apart from that, <laughs> all is good. Uh, Curtis, do you cost an X zero at ten thousand? Yes, we do. Yeah. Not all hands do, but that's uh, sops for the orange guys. Christian, have I argued with my AI self? <laughs> no, but I had to use him for the AI ATC as we were climbing out of Milan. Uh, just reduces my uh, reduces my workload. So this is the this is the really interesting bit now. So if you've stuck with us for the full stream, uh, or if you're just coming in now, this is where it's going to start to get interesting because this is where we're going to get uh, the descent and the really important bit, the vectors for the um, for the approach see how that all uh, all is handled and and will work uh, Mark says saw there was a, a Boeing whistleblower saying a 787 could just fall apart in flight I mean it's not just whistleblowing it's scaremongering isn't it that that's, uh, that's not something you want to hear but I did read something similar about the uh, the fitters having to sort of jump on the panels to get them to fit because they weren't aligned correctly. I mean, it doesn't fill you with confidence, does it? I hate to be the guys that are flying these things. I mean, they've got to have confidence in the machines that they're using. Uh, so, Curtis, um, the reason that the Orange Airline um, sets cost index zero is just to save money. They do it on every flight, <laughs> whether they're going to be late or early. Christian, we should have tested Manchester to see if it would bring me in over my house. <laughs> Might do that. Uh, we, we'd have to fly from Amsterdam for that. And then request a shortcut, which, beyond ATC at the moment, won't allow shortcuts. Tony says, got a good viewing spot from the Hampton by Hilton Hotel at uh, Liverpool. That's not where you are right now, is it, Tony? Keep a lookout for us. So this is our top of descent. I can either request it, or I would expect Beyond ATC to tell us to uh, to start heading down. Uh, Cody is flying the Orange Airline down to Rhodes on Monday out of uh, out of Gatwick. It should start warming up now in the Greek Isles, shouldn't it? It's a good time of year to get down there. Tell them you'd like to go in and uh, set up the box for them before uh, <laughs> before you take to your seat. See what they say. Uh, 
And of course now, the new thrust reduction altitude of just 800 feet AGL is, well, pulling the thrust back when you're only 800 feet above the ground. Well, few airlines do it, and again, it's a, a cost-saving, uh, cost-saving technique. Uh, Tanish, have we been switched to Liverpool yet? No, not yet. We're uh, we're still just um, well. We've got London. <laughs> we're near London. <laughs> it's down there. You have to see a bit more if we've done it in the daytime, but never mind. Uh, Christian, can you tell beyond ATC that you're approaching top percent, or just simply request to say you just uh, request it, just call and say, hey, come on, need to get down. Uh, Codis is 800 feet standard for every departure. Not all of them, um, but most of them, yeah. It doesn't change um, when it comes to the weather. It's basically all to do with noise abatement. If uh, if it's a, an airport with no scenery around and um, they've got and it's n a noise abatement too, then yeah, normally they'll just 800 feet. But if you're flying somewhere like uh, Geneva, that's uh, that's a noise abatement one departure. So I think they get you up to something like 2,000 feet before you do that. Don't know actually. I can find out. Uh, where did I say Geneva? Oops. Done it again. Uh, Geneva 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, so thrust reduction there, 283, uh, 63, and uh, thrust reduction 4366. So, yeah, they're not all 800 feet AGL. Uh, Mark, was the Eclipse modelled in Maxwell Flight Simulator? It was, yes. It doesn't go dark, but the moon does take a chunk out of the sun. Tony had a bird strike causing a reject to take off from Vienna on Tuesday. Well, at least you haven't got airborne yet. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your drink. Uh, Lemon, can I once again explain the two balls in the middle of the screen? Yeah, so it's basically what Airbus deemed to be the optimum, um, uh, the optimum seating position. So the optimum seating position is when the red ball is covering up the white ball completely. So basically the idea is to try and get that. Perfect, so that would be, I don't know, somewhere like that. Actually, that looks pretty good. Is that a new moon? Actually, I think it was a new moon last night, wasn't it? But yeah, the celestial bodies are modelled quite well in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Of course, in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, we're going to get the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights, they're going to be modelled as well. Tony, thank you for subscribing. Uh, Lemon, yeah, it's uh, very, very simplistic, this, isn't it? <laughs> but it works. I mean, that's only Airbus's uh, ideal positioning. Um, I was a few pilots actually prefer to sit a tad lower, um, and they can, I, so it just helps them judging when landing. Uh, Fruit back, did I see the Austrian 320 near with its stabilizer ripped off in Vienna? I didn't actually. No, I'm not, I've not seen that. So, I have no idea how Beyond ATC are going to vector us in, so ju let's just use all the tools I have at my disposal. Um, we'll put a 9 mile radius around that, so if we're passing that line, we want to be about 3,000 feet. And we'll clean up the flight plan as well. Tate, what are my overall impressions of Beyond ATC? I, th I think it's great. Um, 
if you're not comfortable with Vatsim, then this is, is an absolute must-have. Uh, Kazmini have just done a uh, departure from Liverpool and the Phoenix. Flaps one, one five one. Uh, oh, well, that would have been a red flag. One five one, and that that has your takeoff weight, seventy two point eight. That sounds <laughs> that sounds interesting. What would SimSmart give you? I mean, this isn't for the Phoenix, this is for um, the fly-by-wire. Uh, Liverpool, 2-7. It's not raining there. Uh, temperature 14, so off. What was your weight? 72.8. Uh, I'll imagine all of this was standard. Config 1. Can we do it? Oh, the Neo could do it. But sadly, you weren't in the Neo. Right, our top of descent is very close. Tony, how does this compare with, say, uh, to say, intentions? Um... I mean, it's slightly different, because say intentions is almost like chat GPT AI isn't it you don't nothing is scripted um, with that whereas the responses you're getting from beyond ATC it, it, it is all scripted right we need to start heading down so I will just leave it for a few miles to see if London Radar are going to wake up and tell us to go down. Andy, good night, mates. Yeah, come back tomorrow for the landing. Easy 3 4 Alpha Mike, Elvo 1 Lima, runway 27. Report ready for descent. Oh, fair enough, there we go. Easy, 3, 4, off mic, Elvo, 1, Lima, and we are ready for descent now. Easy, 3, 4, Alpha Mike, descend to flight level 200. Descend flight level 200, easy, 3, 4, Alpha Mike. Okay, well, when we've now been left high, haven't we, by them? So, thrust idle, open descent, I will wind that speed up in a minute. Uh, Katie Pilot says flight, flaps 3 out of Heathrow is quite common. Um, and the real LIDO before. See, I'm not familiar with the LIDO one, Katie. I, do, I don't have access to that. Right, see if we can get back on profile. Down. I'm just sort of wanting to monitor our uh, monitor our performance. We're now 5,000 feet too high for the profile, so we'll try and catch back up with that. Maybe a little use of speed brakes to help get down. Gear down simulations. I did see that, so um, yeah, I will I, I will respond in in good time. But thank you for that. Lemon, have I ever used the expedite button? No. I mean, we're descending 6,000 feet per minute now. I mean, that's... It's not horrible. Passengers might realise they're going down. Uh, 
Uh, Big Mac, if you program your computer in the A320 and you don't have a standard instrument departure for the departure, instead you have a waypoint, but it doesn't appear in the flight management uh, as an option. What for the runway? What do you do? Uh, <laughs> check that you've check that you're at the right runway. Um, no, you would just fly out runway heading. Then once you are happy and clear, maybe above MSA, turn towards that first waypoint. So, it's going to try and get us to move down with the star. Look, Elvos flight level 200, that is pretty much what it wanted. We're not going to be a million miles away from that, but we did leave it high. We could have called for descent sooner, obviously, but I wanted to let Beyond ATC do its thing. So, get the spoilers out, kill some more fairies. Uh, Sven, why do you get the outer tank fuel cross transfer? Uh, just letting you know that the transfer feed valve is opened up, and that is completely normal. Um, ED34 Alpha Mike, descend to flight level 100. Descend flight level 100, easy 34 Alpha Mike. And 100 blue. Pop that back into open descent, thrust idle, open descent, there we go, 100 blue. Uh, yeah, so when the uh, when the attacks drop below, I think it's 750, 750 kilograms from memory, um, that tank will open. Speed brakes are still out, it's just giving me a reminder, that's fine. We're coming back on profile though now, look, so that's good. There we go. Pop those away. Nicely back on profile, so I want to wind the speed down. Speed 270. Oh, that's a much nicer descent rate for us. So obviously there we have Liverpool. Uh, standard arrival route will take us to whatever waypoint this was called. Larger Life, this is the premium, these are the premium voices that I'm showcasing off for you tonight. Yep, that is correct. Keegan, of course it's Keegan, named after Sir Kevin. Uh, so, Vinny, are we going to expect Beyond ATC to pop out the skies with real-world schedules when flying? I, I believe that is the case. They they want to get it kind of like um, FSLTL, which is based on Flight Radar 24, so yes. Steve, you're now waiting for Beyond ATC to say no further ATC 12 Unicom on 122 decimal 8. <laughs> A guy from Zurich. Yes, the footballer, Kevin Keegan. Who was very big at Anfield, of course before my time. I remember him as a manager, not as a player. I'm not that old. Right, see what signs on. Uh, Tanish, I think we should get handed over to Liverpool Control, but we'll we'll see together. Um, so this is something now. Uh, again, a little caveat, as it is, uh, it is still in beta. Please do um, do remember that. Um, so when we get given Vexus to intercept the, uh, the the ILS, we are at the moment, I think, just basically going to be told to sort of intercept the centre fix. Now, obviously. The centre fix is not something that air traffic control would tell you to do. They would say go ahead and intercept uh, centre fix 27 or, or, or whatever. So Beyond ATC and the team are working about how to sort of um, work around that. Maybe, I don't know, give you a heading vector towards that point would be a little bit more realistic. So we shall, um, we shall see. But yeah, tonight I don't expect, I, I expect to sort of say um, proceed direct that fix. Uh, Christian, can you ask Beyond ATC for a visual approach? I don't want to do that. 
<laughs> um, it doesn't look like it's one of the options, so I'm not sure. Paul, that was the day when perms were indeed all the rage. <laughs> Again, before my time. I remember my mother having a perm. Christian, you asked for a visual... Pro well, yeah, of course you do, Christian. You fly as Lufthansa. Top gunning your way in. Uh, Tate, there are some things you can ask for that are not listed. Uh, so, Tate, obviously, you're, uh, you're one of the mods. The um, does the visual approach work? I mean, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> oh, I, I, I want it to vex me all the way in. Uh, Andreas, when will I do a review for the Wing? So at the moment, there is a review and comparison or video for that already out on the site. Um, the driver is um, is now up, so um, as soon as I get a chance, we'll uh, we'll show that off. Uh, right, so we... how many track miles we've got left to run? About 76 of up. That's fine. Uh, and we are about 38 miles to run. Okay, so if they did vector us in now, that would be fine. Hey, dirt bikes, I'm well. Hope you are too. Steve Mullen, good evening. So, flight level 100 is coming up. Once we're back 250, we'll get our lights on. Uh, Tony, so Eurowings pilot adjusting the VAP speed in the McDo, is that common? Yeah, yeah. You can add pilot speed to your approach for whatever reasons they uh, they give. Speaking of which. EV34 Alpha Mike, contact Liverpool, approach 119 decimal 85. 119 decimal 85 for EZ34 Alpha Mike. Good night. Negative Liverpool approach on 119 decimal 85. What did I say? 119 decimal 85, EZ34 Alpha Mike. Negative Liverpool approach on 119 decimal 85. I'm going to get my counterpart to answer you in a minute. Liverpool approach on 119.85, easy 34 Alpha Mike. Liverpool approach, easy 34 Alpha Mike with you, 10,000 feet. That was rubbish. Flight level 100. <laughs> Easy three four alpha mic verify information whiskey. Oh, I didn't check the eighties. Okay, we're just gonna have to lie. Easy three four alpha mic copy information whiskey. Easy three four alpha mic Liverpool approach QNH one zero two five expect radar vectors for ILS runway two seven. Expect ILS runway two seven QNH one zero two five easy three four alpha mic. Airborne Innovation, mate, thank you so much for your membership. And Nick's catching us live. Hi, Nick. Where have you been? Uh, Tate, it doesn't like Niner. Does it not? I suppose we're not in America, so that's probably quite accurate. Uh, 
And Nick has also resubbed over on Twitch as well. 15 months in a row. Thank you, Nick. Good to see you on both platforms. Right, anyway, what we're we doing? 10,000 feet. I'm just going to expect vectors um, whenever they decide to give them to us. What's our fuel doing? So we've got about an hour of fuel endurance on board at the minute. So normally then, in real life, you wouldn't be told, most of the time, you, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't fly all the way to Keegan, we'd have been vectored off and, and pulled in, as long as we don't conflict with uh, traffic departing Manchester, of course, that is. But we are actually on the, the sit, the, uh, sorry, the star, the proper star as it is at the moment. Mike, celebrating nine months of channel membership, seems I was just born. <laughs> Thank you, Mike, for that. Uh, Keegan, uh, Keegan, Tanish, it may still yet get me down to flight level 70, but, you know, we're, we're a long way away from that yet. It's only 3,000 feet down, isn't it? HD is here with the popcorn. Can you imagine HD arguing with Beyond ATC? <laughs> <laughs> Beyond ATC would win because it never gets tired. So we're still holding 10,000 feet. It's not told us to do any any different yet. I would imagine that might be because at Nanty there is a constraint of a uh, flight level 100. So be prepared for another instruction very soon. All the mods are coming in the chat for uh, Beyond ATC's ILS vectoring. Easy 3 4 Alpha Mike, descend to flight level 070. Descend flight level 070, easy 3 4 Alpha Mike. Touch side level descent, 70 blue. Cool. 250 knots selected, so approach phase, get that activated. He doesn't sound like a scouser, does he? <laughs> uh, dirt bikes, you'll definitely get a lot more out of uh, flight simulators with a joystick. Try anyone that attempts to try and fly with a mouse and uh, keyboard is far braver than I am. Christian, I think that is the case. It's going to stick uh, almost religiously to the SID. No, it's not. The star. So I think we're going to get down flight level 7-0. We'll hold that until Keegan, and then it's going to get really interesting. Oh, HD has just asked, is this not that sim? W were you fooled? Was it that good? <laughs> yeah, what they need to do now, Microsoft need to buy out Beyond ATC and their devs for like a few million pounds. 
they can retire and we get awesome ATC. Speed I'll start. As we're now flying full sits, I should maybe have taken more fuel. What have we got? Two two. I've just I've got about an hour endurance before we're in the Mersey. Uh, how do I rate Beyond ATC? I, I, I think it's incredibly good. Um, the voices are better than anything I've ever heard. Uh, HD, we're still using the Mini FCU at the moment because I hadn't installed the driver for the uh, for the full size one yet, so still on that at the moment. <laughs> Tate as over would ruin it. <laughs> well, maybe so. I just want. I just thought the team deserved a few million pound payoff. <laughs> Let them go and enjoy their life. They've served our community well. Easy three four Alpha Mike, leave key gun heading zero eight zero. Expect radar vectors for ILS runway two seven. Leave Keegan heading 080 and expecting ILS vectors runway 27 easy 34 Alpha Mike. Mike, does Beyond ATC react and loo if you lose your temper and start swearing at it? <laughs> I don't know. HD, we'll have to let you try it. <laughs> Alright, four miles, we'll do what it tells us to. HD, what happens if you misread back the clearance? Oh, we tried that, it, it didn't like it. <laughs> it told me no. I tested it by reading a frequency back wrong and they went, uh, uh, and they did correct me. Behind the sides, can I do a dual engine? No! I know how it works. The engines stop, plane goes down. Easy 34 Alpha Mike, turn right, heading 075, vectors for the approach. Expect further clearance in about two tree miles. Turn right, heading 075, easy 34 Alpha Mike. Okay, push to manage speed, start slowing down. <laughs> Better than a Paris controller. <laughs> uh, Leon, no other traffic yet? No. Uh, Beyond AC hasn't got other traffic injectors working just yet. Tidy up my flight plan. HC, funnily enough, you had a QNH cock up with the Paris CDG controller recently. You can't. Oh man. That nearly ended really badly, didn't it? In real, uh, I say in real life. That, uh, yeah, knee nearly ended up being a very severe incident. Hi, Captain. The cabin is now secure for landing. Lovely, thank you. Further descent would be good. Where is the airport anyway? It's over there, isn't it, somewhere?
Okay, so what we've got at the minute, we've got a nice tailwind pushing us along. Right, two ton of fuel in the tank. We did cake it over here, where he, uh, we did cost the next 50 just to speed it up. CNR's 1.7. Uh, what's the transition altitude at Liverpool? It is, if memory serves, 6,000. Got it on the charts in front of me, hang on. 5,000, 5,000. Alright, so we're at beam the field, I think, at the minute. It's down there somewhere. Easy 3 4 Alpha Mike, turn right heading 110. Right heading 110, easy 3 4 Alpha Mike. 110 the heading. Oh, HD, isn't that the... you You were still able to continue, though, even the, though the fog had uh, rolled in. You were visual and... Uh, I think you were still above a thousand feet at that point, weren't you? So, get down to a thousand feet. That's your approach, Ban. If you can see it, carry on, you're good. If you can't see it, do something else. <laughs> Sensible. So I'm just waiting for further descent now. See, uh, see when it will tell us to get down. Uh, Being in Ian says, I notice his premium voices seem to finish their sentences with a sharp inhale. Uh, it's something you can't unhear once you notice it. Well, I've not noticed it now. We're going to have to listen for that. So I think ATC, if it could, should get us down. Easy three four Alpha Mike, turn left, heading one zero zero, descend to five thousand QNH one zero two five. Left heading one zero zero, descend altitude five thousand QNH one zero two five. Easy three four Alpha Mike. Okay, thrust out a little bit, descend five thousand blue. Down we go. <laughs> HD wasn't your line check, was it? <laughs> I wonder if there's any scenario when you've got a perfectly working aircraft, perfect working ground equipment, you can see the runway, but there's some legal loophole you're not allowed to land. And I'm not talking about something on the aircraft, uh, something on the runway, or ATC tells you to go around. Just some. Situation that could occur. Easy three four Alpha Mike, turn left, heading zero one zero, descend to four thousand. Flaps one, speed detect. Left heading zero one zero, descend altitude four thousand. Easy three four Alpha Mike. Right, I'm now going to let my um, virtual counterpart handle the comms. Auto response is on. Auto tune is on. I'm going to concentrate on flying the aircraft. Flaps two, because I think I'm going to need to get down a little bit quicker. Oh, yeah, there's our glide slope. If we need to capture it from above, we're familiar with that procedure. 
gear down flaps to wind down the VS, wind up the altitude. Easy, 24 Alpha Mike, turn left, heading 305, descent to 3000. Turn left, heading 305, descend to 3000, easy 34, Alpha Mike. Okay, I'm going to send 3000 blue, left turn 305. Actually, that glide stop's looking pretty darn good. It is nice having to just be able to concentrate on flying rather than flying and. Uh, flying and talking. Okay, bang on the glide slope at the minute. Now we're not going to need anti ice. We're okay. And they, they do have generic voices, yes. I've just set it to me for, well, obvious reasons. We've not been cleared the ILS. We're not going to get through the centre line, I hope. Easy 34 Alpha Mike, cleared direct CF27, cross CF27 at or above 2000, cleared ILS, runway 27. Right, so that's what I was talking about, being cleared direct to the centre fix. Cleared direct CF27, cross CF27 at or above 2000, cleared ILS runway 27, easy 34, Alpha Mike. So, yeah, that is something that is still part of the beta build that they want to try and get rid of, because you would never be told cleared direct the CF27. But we were cleared for the ILS27, that's what I wanted, so we've hit the approach mode, we're now um, alt glide slope, uh, blue lock star, just VS 800 at the minute, Before we just level that off a little bit actually, so drop that to 7, get the Phoenix to sort itself out. Right, VS 500, that should pick up the uh, glide slope quite nicely. My god, this aircraft is all over the place. Glide slope's captured, missed approach altitude is 2,000 feet. Set. Alright, flaps 2, speed's checked. Flaps 2. Easy 34 Alpha Mike, contact Liverpool Tower 126 decimal 35. Have a good evening. Have a good evening! <laughs> awesome. Over to Tower 126 decimal 35, easy 34 Alpha Mike. Auto tune is on, so it's going to handle the radio comms. Liverpool Tower, Easy 34 Alpha Mike, ILS runway 27. Easy 34 Alpha Mike, Liverpool Tower, continue. Roger, Easy 34 Alpha Mike. Red altimeter is alive. God, I love having the guy next to me doing the comms. That is. It's, it's easy, this, when there's two of you. Christian, hey, I didn't say good evening back. Don't like his attitude. <laughs> All right, let's start. Uh, let's start slowing down. Uh, just to uh, to clarify, my voice is part of Beyond ATC, so it doesn't sort of replicate your own voice. There's my voice, but there's also generic voices and other streamer voices as uh, as well. Okay, so I'm going to push for, uh, yeah, push for managed speed, and the gear down. For the systems page, we did have a fault tonight as well, but not a major one. And flaps 3, speed checked, flaps 3. 
Easy 3 4 Alpha Mike, wind 190 at 12, runway 27 cleared to land. Nice cross -wind. Runway 27 cleared to land, Easy 3 4 Alpha Mike. Now you can declare a go around if I mess this up, so that'll be interesting. And just a reminder as well, because I've got default Azobo scenery for Liverpool, it doesn't like that at the moment because default um, Azobo sceneries don't have good taxiway layouts in the background, so um, yeah. If we need to go around, it's straight ahead 1500, right turn 2000, climb to Liverpool NDB. And hold. Right, well, Beyond ATC has performed more or less flawlessly, hasn't it? So, let's see if I can uh, do that as well. One thousand. Organ says, can I mess it up to see the go-around? <laughs> no! Well, not crosswind landing is uh, what we're expecting. Christian says, "Ask for the visual now and see what happens." Five hundred. I'd hope it'd give it me five hundred stable, three reds. Just compensate for that. Hundred above. Still happy with the picture. Minimum. Continue. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Not the best landing in the world, but never mind. Spoilers versus green, decel. Idle and manual brakes. Right, let's see what happens now. Three four Alpha Mike, exit right next available taxiway. Exit right next available taxiway, easy three four Alpha Mike. <laughs> Tony says, Welcome to the Scouse Riviera. That sounds really nice. They should call it that in real life. Easy three four Alpha Mike, contact ground one two one decimal nine or five. Have a good evening. Good evening to you. Ground one two one decimal nine five easy three four alpha mic. Uh, right, let's get the lights off. Oh, click spots. Okay, so let's request the taxi to gate. Easy three four Alpha Mike, request taxi to the gate. Easy three four Alpha Mike, welcome to Liverpool John Lennon Airport, ramp parking tree two. Scenery at this airport does not contain taxi data. Taxi at pilot's discretion. Oh, that's quite cool. Ramp three two taxi at my discretion, easy three four Alpha Mike. So it actually tells you if um, the scenery doesn't have the uh, available data that it needs to give you full taxi directions. Um, oh, we'll just go three, two, left. Why not? Um, so Payware airports, they t they tend to have all that stuff uh, built in. The default Azobo ones don't, however. 
So, guys, what do you think? Um, again, I just want to give a big shout out to Beyond ATC for allowing us to showcase this live, because obviously anything can happen live, can't it? Um, but yeah, what uh, what do you guys think now that uh, now that you've seen it? And if you are on your way out, guys, please do hit that like button as uh, as well as you go. Huge thank you to everyone who's done uh, done that already. Taxing at my discretion, indeed. I think most people in the stream said they would definitely purchase this. I have tested this out at um, airports, which are you know sort of like a Innerbuilds Airport or um, uh, Orbex Airports, basically you know proper handcrafted ones, ones that aren't technically default. Um, and yeah, the taxi instructions are absolutely uh, spot on. Beyond ATC, you are more than welcome. Everyone is, I think, uh, completely impressed. We fooled HD into thinking it was real. I mean, that's uh, as someone who does it in real life every day. That that's got to be a great en endorsement. <laughs> if you want to grab his voice, then uh, you're going to have to put a uh, 18 certificate rating on the product. <laughs> Although that would be as funny as a hack. <laughs> Uh, Dark Fury, can we have a look at the sticker? I know which sticker you're on about, I will show that off in a minute. But, um, yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed showing this off for you guys tonight. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed it as well. Welcome to Liverpool. Beyond ATC doing a, uh, a, an incredible job uh, on this nice two-hour flight. We saw the premium voices, we saw the, um, the basic voices as, uh, as well. So, yeah. Definitely, definitely a great, great product. And remember, this is still beta. This is still the beta version. It's not, it is not yet the finished product. Fly the plane. It's not a baby. <laughs> There's a word missing there. <laughs> Just once again, if uh, you are on the market, if there's any inner builds to scenery or aircraft, then not or anything from the inner builds uh, site, then if you use the link uh, at the top of the chat or the video description, then you um, you will also support the channel by uh, by doing so. Where's he wanting us to go? Over here, I'm reckoning. Oh no, he wanted us to go over there. Oh, I've completely mucked this parking up. This is why we like handcrafted airports. Now, hang on, slight little detour. That's why they should get someone who knows their way around to actually park these things. my wings on the catering vehicle. Now imagine the flight done tonight but with traffic injection. How amazing would that look? <laughs> Job done. Amazing stuff. Guys, thank you so, so much for joining me tonight. I know it's been a long flight, but I didn't want to do a short one. I wanted to do one which, uh, you know, showcased, um, well, the full product. And I also wanted to make sure that we flew into somewhere that didn't just have a normal... Um, star taking you straight onto the approach. I wanted to hear those vectors. I wanted it to, uh, you know, basically have to work for its money, so to speak. And I think, yeah, that um, it did all right. In real life, they'd probably get you down a little bit sooner, but it's the beta version. Work in progress, so there we go. And with that, we've already got that pump off because it failed. Stupid aircraft. And squawk 2000. Job done. Go stand outside. Say thank you, everyone. 
and we shall see you next time. Fantastic. So guys, our next live stream will, uh, as usual, be posted in our Discord server. Really hope you've enjoyed that this evening. A massive thanks to our mods. Huge thanks to our EasyJet Simpilot channel members as well for your continued support. Really does mean a great deal to me. That's and uh, to the Beyond ATC team for allowing us to showcase the, uh, the product. Hopefully not too long before it's out and available. I know you're all going to absolutely love it when it comes. And the ability to use it during the cruise whilst we're in the empty skies flying on VATSIM is a huge bonus. Whatever you're doing now for the rest of the evening, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you on our next flight. Good night, everyone. See you again real soon. Bye-bye.